I work out of the Department of Animal Science and I work in all areas of, of dairy extension with the dairy farmers in North Carolina, which includes doing educational work for producers trying to help them improve their ability to run their herds, but also some consumer outreach as well. Right now there are about 45,000 milk cows being milked in North Carolina and we produce close to a billion pounds of milk per year. Milk quality in North Carolina is very high for the southeastern region. We just gave out our milk quality awards and had 33 farms out of 175 that received recognition for having very high milk quality. It's very fresh getting to the grocery store. Most milk is in the grocery store within 48 hours of leaving the farm. Well, it's really important to be constantly looking for ways to, to feed cows in order to have the best quality milk. It starts with forages. Um, dairy cattle, whether they're pasture-based or forage-fed from stored forages like corn silages, um, these cattle here are consuming uh, sorghum silage. Most of our dairies in North Carolina grow their own crops on their farm and then e either in sile forages or put up hays or, or graze fresh grass out in the pastures. But that's the core of the dairy diet. We try to put as much of the nutrition in that portion as, of the feed as possible and then supplement to balance out their needs. Most consumers are a little confused about what dairy products they want to drink. Um, they are not sure if they should be buying skim or 2% or whole milk or organic or some of the other types of milks available in the marketplace. And generally, we just encourage cow dairy products. We often hear that consumers are concerned about antibiotics and none of the milk in North Carolina or anywhere else contains antibiotics. Every load at every processing plant is tested before it's unloaded and if, if anything would come up it would not be accepted. And then also consumers are often concerned about artificial growth hormones and cattle for the most part in the United States are not receiving any artificial growth hormones and particularly in the southeastern region they haven't been um, allowed for years. It's fantastic working with dairy products because we've got a fluid product and so every load can be thoroughly tested and we're very confident of the quality of milk that's entering the marketplace. We're very fortunate to have a, a great group of dairy farmers working in North Carolina and I really enjoy getting to work with all of them. Dairy farmers milk cows because they love it and it's what they, they're really passionate about. So it's, it's really fortunate to be able to work with an industry that um, has a real passion for what they're doing. And part of the reason I love working with the dairy industry is the, the outcome is a really wholesome, nutritious product. And as a nutritionist, I really enjoy working with a product like that.